Something just occurred to me last night. Just got done eating dinner, and I was telling the wife about this one calf that's much taller than the rest of them. And, uh, bam, it hit me. If you follow my videos at all, um, just a couple weeks ago I released a video of my own two calves that I weaned and took back to my house. I'm going to overlay a picture right here and show you the two of them. Now if you notice, the one is much taller than the other one. The taller one of these two is the older one of the two, but only by about three and a half weeks. Now, if you look at these calves and you notice this heifer here, notice her height compared to everybody else. I'm going to kind of squat down here so you can see. She's got a good three, four, maybe six inches on everybody. So last night it occurred to me that this calf here, this heifer calf, the taller of everybody else, um, the bigger of everybody else, um, has something in common with my calf that I took home, the taller of the two. And what that is, this calf here when she was born, another um, first time heifer went into labor at the same time. This calf survived, the other uh, calf did not make it. And since they were born at the same time, the mom that lost its baby um, competed with this one's mom to nurse it. And for, I know of a good two months, this calf here had two moms. Um, it could go nurse from either one and they would both uh, let it. Now, it's the same story with my heifer calf, the taller of the two. Um, she had Miley to fall back on, and when Miley wasn't enough, she resorted to my uh, first time heifer, um, 176, and she would nurse from both of them. So what they have in common, this calf and the taller of the two of mine, is that they had two mamas for a short period of time. Now, I guess I should say this one for a short period of time, Miley's calf until I weaned her because uh, I never really seen her slow down from going to 176 to get milk. So I don't know if there's anything to this or maybe it's just a coincidence that it worked out this way and these calves are taller, but it kind of seems like um, if they have more milk, they get a little bit bigger in the same amount of time that these ones took. I'm gonna try and walk around her here and let her see if see if she'll stay still. Now it's hard to compare her with the one next to her there because that one there is actually the Amish Hereford and we weren't sure really of her age. So his mama may not have been producing enough milk for him alone. So that's something that we're gonna to have to correct. Um, she's bred now, so maybe after this next calf, um, completely call her out of the pitcher and uh, Get rid of her. Now, looky here. Boys, boys, boys. Come on, little dude. Get out of there. Come on. Come on. Find your way out. You found your way in. You're not going to fit out of there. Okay, you are. So, anyway, if you had any. If you have any experience with this, uh, maybe you could shed some light on it and uh, enlighten the rest of us. I think it's very interesting that both of these taller calves that I'm speaking of um, both had two moms, at least for a short period of time. If you look, she's almost hitting her neck on the top bar of the feeder. And you look around here, everybody else has got at least um, a fist width you could put between them and the and the feeder, you could probably almost stack both. Hey, now looky here. You could probably almost stack uh, both your fist up and still not touch the top of them, of the feeder. Look at that space. So anyway, I just thought it was interesting and wanted to share what I had noticed. And like I say, if you have any in information you can share on this, um, it would be much appreciated. Thanks. Mm -hmm.